Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am showing you my must have autumn shoes slash boots, basically. We're coming to that time of the year when the boots are back. And yeah, I just wanted to help you guys and give you a little bit of an insight of my favorites. Um, most of these are old, but I'm pretty sure because they are quite a staple shoe, most of them are all in stock. Um, I will also leave some alternatives down below because I can't own five pairs of loafers. So I will leave some alternatives that I've seen online that I really like, just in case the ones that I show you aren't in stock as well. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the video. So first up, we have a chunky boot. For me personally, I'll always prefer to go for a chunkier boot just because I do have short legs. So I do prefer something that can give me a little bit more height. Um, and I do feel like a chunkier boot makes my legs look longer and slimmer as well. Um, so these ones are from Zara. I am gonna put one down because it's kind of hard <laughs> to hold both at the same time. So these ones are from Zara. These are a new edition, um, which I got a couple of months ago and I have worn them to death. These are the comfiest shoes ever and they are a great Ganny dupe as well. I'll pop a picture of those here now. Um, I actually wore these to see Div, well, it was a couple of months ago before she moved back to Australia. And she was like, oh my God, you got the Ganny boots. So I was like, no, they are from Zara. So these ones are $49.99. Um, I feel like this type of chunky boot looks great with kind of like any anything really. You can wear like a skinny jean, you can wear a mum jean, you can wear like a, a wider leg trouser with them. Um, leather trousers, you can also wear them with tights. You can wear them with a bare leg, with like a, a midi skirt or shorts. So, so versatile. Um, I don't think that these ones aren't real leather, um, so they're $49.99, so obviously you can tell by the price. And um, they've just got the two loops at the front and back, the elasticated bit in the middle there. The, um, the material is really, really soft, so it is really, really comfortable. And they've just got the kind of like the track, really big, chunky sole on the bottom, which is very similar to like the Bottega and yeah, like the Ganny style of boot. Um, I got these ones in a size six. I am between a five and a six, but I usually tend to go for a six in boots. Um, these ones are super comfortable. I can also fit like an extra thick, chunky sock under, um, in them if I wanted to. Um, these ones are currently out of stock on Zara, but you can be notified for when they come back in stock. So I will leave some alternatives down below if you don't wanna wait for the restock, but these are honestly great. I then picked up a new pair of boots, which have literally arrived today. So these ones are real leather. I'm just gonna show you them here and then I'm gonna pop one down. Um, so what I loved about this boot was the zip detail. I saw Hayley Bieber had some similar ones and then I found these, which are absolutely gorgeous. So these ones are from H&M. Um, I had two pairs in mind in this style. So I had this pair obviously from H&M, like I just said, and there was also a pair from June, which I really, really liked. So, But what sold me to these were the shearling lining. Now, if that's not cozy, then I don't know what it is. So I did get these again in a six, and I'm glad I did because they do fit really, really well. But I think a five would have just been a little bit too small because this lining goes all the way through. So it's super, super cozy. Um, again, can be styled so many different ways. I probably wouldn't wear like a wider trouser with these. Um, but I've seen Hayley Bieber wear them with kind of like a mum jean. She's also worn them with joggers. Um, and they would look great with like a midi skirt and stuff as well. But price wise for these, these ones were $79.99. So I think that's actually a really good affordable price for a real leather shoe. They smell so good. Um, the June ones that I were was between, if you're not so keen on the shearling ones, the June ones were £150, um, but they were very, very similar shape to these. These obviously have kind of like a normal sole with a little bit of a heel there. And as you can see, they are kind of a little bit taller in the body than the Zara ones, which is why these kind of look great with a skinnier leg trouser, like a legging or something like that. So they're not otherwise, because these go a little bit up your leg, you kind of have a lot of gathering going over the top. Um, so yeah, these ones are great. I'm really, really glad I got them. I'm hoping they're gonna be in stock for you guys. Like I said, I will link the June ones and I will link some alternatives that I find. We know what H&M's like. As soon as you find something, you need to get it because everything's like gold dust on there. But yeah, I'm really glad I got these. One thing that I will say is the zip is not the easiest going up. 
oh, it's a bit um, riggedy, so just bear that in mind. Obviously, I'm not sure what the June ones are like. They're more expensive, so maybe the zip's easier. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit worried if that's gonna get damaged at all, but I'm just assuming it's because it's quite a thick, chunky zip, and they'll be okay. So let's go on to loafers. Now, I am really enjoying a loafer this year. I feel like I am reaching for them more than boots at the moment, especially like in the autumn when it's not too cold. So, I treated myself to a new pair of loafers which you would have seen in my latest videos and I got the Prada loafers. Now these are honestly the most comfortable loafers in the entire world. They are super super comfortable. I got these ones in a size 6. I probably could have got a 5.5 um, but the 6 is fine. It just means that I, I can also wear like a sock with them if I want to um, but they are honestly super comfortable. Obviously they are more on the expensive side. These were like I think they were £750 um, but they are great. I love them so so much. I do have an alternative pair to show you which I'll show you in a minute but I was wearing my alternative pair quite a lot and I was like do you know what I just really want to invest in a really nice pair of loafer. Like I said I was reaching for them so much more and I just feel like with the Prada logo on the front there it just kind of just adds a little bit more to an outfit rather than just a plain all black loafer. See these you can get these in a really chunky version with the track sole but these are just like the normal bottom and they've obviously got a little bit of a heel there um but yeah I love them I think these look great with like split leg trousers um I haven't tried them yet but I do want to try and wear them with like maybe socks and like some shorts and a blazer I've not quite braved that outfit yet but I will give it a go and yeah I can just they're obviously going to be in my wardrobe forever um and I just absolutely love them another loafer and you're going to be like Rachel they are exactly the same um but what I must say is these are really heavy actually going between the two and I just I prefer the shape of the front of the Prada ones than I do to these. Um, but these ones are from Zara. They have brought a pretty much identical, actually, they're kind of different. These ones have got a chunkier sole. There we go, justified. <laughs> um, so yeah, these ones are from Zara. I did get these last year, but they have brought out a basically identical pair. I think these were around the 30 pound mark. Again, I did get these in a 39 i just think a loafer can just make an outfit look so great like you can wear them with jeans like i've worn these a lot with like blue mum jeans black mum jeans um i think they just make an outfit look really really smart um so these are the front of these ones they're kind of just like a, it's really hard to see because obviously they're black they're just a plain black with the chunky heel and they're so much more heavier than the prada ones which is not necessarily a good thing because you kind of want them to feel like quite light on your feet um but yeah these are a great alternative if you're not looking to spend the amount on a prada one which is honestly completely understandable <laughs> um it took a lot of willpower for me to order the prada ones but i'm so glad that i did um and yeah I'll, I'll link some of the ones down below but i think a loafer is a necessity at this time of the year i think they just look great and like i said i'm reaching for them a lot more um in the auto pair of boots which i'm kind of fuming about because i've literally spent about two hours cleaning this apartment this morning and these boots have mud on the bottom from when i last wore them to the forest and now the mud is all over my floor but yeah let's not talk about them so next up doc martens now i have had these boots for around four years now and can we just appreciate how great quality they still look i feel like boots like this they just do just age really well like sometimes when the leather gets a bit used it looks better um these ones are the pascal doc martens so one thing that took me a while to get some doc martens was the fact that people used to talk how uncomfortable they were um and I used to see people talking about putting period pads in the back of their shoes so they didn't get blisters. Well, I can tell you with these, you do not need them because they're such a soft leather. They are honestly the most comfortable shoes. I did get a six, um, so I would, if you're in between sizes, I'd recommend sizing up. Um, just because I found that when I tried on the five, they were quite tight around here um, and quite painful. So yeah, the six was perfect for me. They've obviously just got the contrast yellow stitch all around and then the gum sole um so for these i don't tend to wear with like jeans or anything like that i'm sure they look great for, but for me personally i'll wear these more when i'm wearing like a legging um and more of a casual outfit i tend to wear oh, did you see that mud drop on my buccal chair wow okay it's dry i don't want to put where am i going to put that 
right i'll just put it on the floor and i have to hoover it up um so yeah i tend to wear these when i go out for walks in the forest because they do wipe really well and clean up really well i just obviously need to sort out the bottom of them but um yeah these are a great great little addition and yeah i absolutely love those i will try and i can't remember the price of these but i will link some places down below because most places do stock them now and hopefully these ones are in stock if not i will link some alternatives from other brands down below it's just kind of like a biker boot really um yeah next let's go on to trainers because let's be honest who doesn't let, love a trainer so my favorites at the moment for autumn are my off-white trainers i think these are great i think they just literally make you can have a smart outfit on pop these on and it just literally makes an outfit kind of like that casual smart vibe um and again obviously you can dress them down and have a more casual outfit but i just love a plain white kind of like flat trainer like not a runner trainer just like yeah a I can't even think of the word to describe them but yeah I absolutely love these these are more on your pricier side they obviously have the signature off-white tag if that's gonna focus there we go these are a little bit mucky I need to get a wipe on them actually um so yeah and then they've just got the gummy nude bits here these ones are in all white but you can get loads of different color alternatives i've seen ones which have got this bit here as beige which is really nice and also green um these are honestly like walking on clouds they're incredible i did get these in a size five um so yeah i wouldn't recommend sizing up because they're quite big already um they're quite roomy but yeah they're just literally so so comfortable but with this type of shoe i love wearing them with like a tailored trouser like i said to kind of like dress it down also jeans joggers you name it these will go with i've also actually tried these on with the midi skirt the other day and i actually really really liked it again it just makes like a more smarter outfit you can casual it down with just like a classic white trainer um i do want to get like again a, a, a bit more of a smarter all white trainer so maybe something like a vasia trainer i'll pop some pictures up here would look nice the saint laurent trainers are also great so yeah i'm going to look into a kind of little bit more of a smarter all white trainer because these are definitely like a little bit more on the edgier side price wise i think you can get these for around 340 to 380 i'll try and find the cheapest one down um, and link that obviously down below in the description box um but yeah if you're looking to invest in a good pair of trainers then i would 100 percent recommend these because i have chanel trainers over there and they are the most uncomfortable things in the whole entire world whereas these these are the ones these are super super comfortable the pair of trainers that i could not live without in the autumn is like a runner style trainer now these ones are from new balance um these ones are a little bit more on the pricier side i think these are around 180 pounds um i just love the color of these they're like a really light gray mixture but kind of like a sagey greeny gray as well um i did get these in a five and a half so i do find with new balance that i go in between i find that a five is too small but a six is too big so i get a five and a half basically and it's good that they do do a five and a half i just love these trainers i've worn them with like mum jeans and jumpers i have worn them with leggings and that's probably about it to be honest but yeah they just literally look really really cool with any outfit i find um so many people have these trainers um so it obviously kind of speaks for itself but yeah i think they're great and new balance trainers are so comfortable as well i absolutely love these i'll just give you a little bit of a close-up as well so you can see I think you can get these in other colours. I'm pretty sure they do like a black and like an even darker grey. These are so light as well, I would say that. They're just a really good, comfortable trainer. Okay, so the last pair of trainers that I want to share with you guys are Converse. Now, I never, ever, 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 ever wear these in the summer. They only ever come out in the autumn. Just because... I think because they're black, um, I just, yeah, protect them. I just prefer to wear them in the autumn. These look great with, so personally for me, I do prefer to wear these with like a trouser that is wider. Um, I don't like to wear them as much with like a skinny jean or anything like that. Um, these ones are the black and the cream. So they're like an off-white cream on the bottom. They have obviously, so these ones have the, white and black logo as well not the red logo which i also liked and they've kind of got a bit more of a 
Ooh. They've got a bit more of a platform on the bottom. So I'll link my exact ones down below. But yeah, I love to wear these with like a wide leg jogger. Um, maybe even like a wide leg uh, leather trouser. Anything like that really. I just think they look really nice like coming out underneath the toe. And obviously they're really really comfortable i do find that these aren't that warm though if i was if when it gets a bit colder i would probably reach more for like the off-white and like the new balance trainers because i do find because they're like a canvas material they're not the warmest of shoes um but yeah they do look really nice nonetheless last pair of shoes that i want to share with you guys is knee high boots so these ones are from russell and bromley um, these ones are a little bit more on the pricier side, so they're around £200, I believe. But they are honestly the softest and most comfortable boots ever. So what I like about these is you can see from the shape that they really tailor to, like, your leg shape. I've had ones before which have been straight and I just could not get them over my calves. I feel like I've got quite chunky calves. I think someone said to me in my comments the other day that I did, so I was like, yeah, thanks for pointing that one out. Um, but yeah, these are great. They're a really, really soft leather and a really good quality. I've had these for two years, maybe a year or two years, and they really, they look amazing quality still. I'll give you a little bit close up on the bottom. They've got kind of like the platform heel with the platform here, which again, I love because I feel like it makes my legs look longer. I love to wear this type of boot with like a skinnier, like black legging or a black jean. And then also with like a jumper dress and like a blazer or even like shorts and an oversized jumper or something like that. That's what I tend to wear these most for. Um, I will link some alternatives that I can find down below. Um, I'm pretty sure like they've got like similar ones like the Ganny boots and things like that. But again, they're going to be more pricier. Um, but yeah, I'll try and find some cheaper alternatives. I think Zara actually do some as well. So I'll try and link those down below. Those are my favourite boots for autumn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I shall see you all in the next video.